Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to um, uh, go into details on diagnosing, diagnosing a BMW uh, transfer box, also called X-Drive, with a code 5F3A. Uh, that's a BMW code. Now these systems, also uh, called X-Drive, are pretty much found on almost any uh, BMW uh, for many, many years, you know, so, and it's, it's, a, it's a very curious system on how it works. It's actually very, uh, the way they did it, it's, it's very nice. It can actually react in milliseconds, and that's how quick it can actually go from four-wheel drive, from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. Now, very, very quickly, we're going to show you a uh, video that we uh, made a couple years ago on, on X-Drive systems for BMWs, and we use it a lot uh, when we're doing uh, uh, seminars and classes, you know, for, uh, for our students. So, take a, take a, take a look at the, this video. All-wheel drive or 4x4 system, called X-Drive, ensures that the vehicle has the best traction all the time improves agility and keeps you safe maneuverability at low speed, by opening the clutch completely so the power drain functions optimally. Acting virtually instantaneously and in a manner as to go virtually unnoticed by the vehicle's driver. X-Drive can direct up to 100% of drive forces to one axle and allow the driver to start up quickly, even on slippery surfaces or steep hills. X-Drive directs all power to the axles with the greatest wheel traction. X-Drive is the all-time, all-wheel drive or 4x4 system from BMW. Under normal circumstances, it distributes driver power between the front and rear axles in a nominal 45-55 ratio, and changes this figure depending on when the road surface or overall driving conditions change. X-Drive allows power to be split between the front and rear axles through use of a multiplate clutch located between the gearbox and the drive shaft. This setup allows X-Drive vehicles to split power in virtually any way it pleases. Torque can be transferred to the front wheels via electronically controlled multiplate clutch that is located in the transfer case. X-Drive does not have a center differential. Most of the time. The clutch is partially locked and power is transferred to both axles in proportion 45-55 front to rear. The power distribution can be altered to continuously variable levels from 50-50 to 0-100. Driving on a winding road in fast style is particularly enjoyable with X-Drive. It allows the vehicle to be guided along the curve. X-Drive ensures that none of the drive power is wasted on a loss of traction. Every horsepower is effectively brought to focus on the road. At the first sign of understeering, drive power to the front axle is reduced. If oversteering is detected, X-Drive directs more power to the front axle. Because of this dynamic redistribution of power, vehicle stability returns to normal even before the driver notices anything is wrong. X-Drive is regulated by Dynamic Stability Control or DSC and uses information from the latter system's sensors to monitor road conditions, such as wheel speed sensors. In addition, brake force courtesy of DSC is used when there is traction difference between the two sides of the vehicle and wheel spin is more likely to occur. Now we start with our, with our diagnostics, uh, of course, with the, uh, and here's a look at the, what the um, BMW, this actual engine uh, looks like. Uh, it's a regular uh, 3X3 um, BMW, uh, like a little SUV. Now we start with the, uh, by reading the codes, uh, by using uh, the Autel scanner, uh, which is pretty, it's, it's pretty good and when it comes to, uh, uh, to European cars and, and a bunch of the other uh, Asian cars as well. Now, we start by pulling out the codes and uh, immediately we can see that it, uh, it's a code 3F, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 5F3A. Um, if you look at it and it's the description is the dynamic stability control um, for the uh, transfer case uh, or transfer box as they call it. Uh, there's a bunch of, now, it, it, it's important to understand that th this code 
appears in all the other modules as well. So the ECM has a code pointing to the transfer case. The, the, uh, tra the uh, transmission uh, computer also has a code pointing to the transfer case. So this, call, uh, this, this code pretty much spreads out and it pr uh, uh, propagates to the, uh, to the other codes. Uh, so and that's how we we go from there pretty much um, it's a pretty straightforward repair uh, the the repair uh, for the you can actually rebuild these uh, um, uh, these transfer cases but this is what we did and this is important that you do this on BMWs uh, once you uh, verify that you have the the code the transfer case code uh, uh, propagated throughout the different modules then what you do, it's, uh, and if you on screen right now, you can actually see uh, the ability to do actuation or bidirectional controls uh, on our transfer case. Uh, and this, this, is, this is really important because that's how you actu actuate the motor uh, on the bottom of the transfer case. And this motor, by the way, you saw it on the video before. Uh, the motor can actually be actuated. It's on the outside of the transfer case. You can actually transfer it. It comes with a small gear. You can actually replace the gears. It's so common on these uh, transfer cases uh, that you can actually replace the motor and the, the, the gear, the small gear that, that's inside. And re or replace either the motor only or the gear only or both. Uh, and uh, it, oftentimes, you know, you really can't do much. If that doesn't work, then you have to rebuild the transfer case on the inside. But the important uh, caveat about this particular repair is that you can actually, uh, uh, using bidirectional control or actuation, as they call it in some of the other modules, you can actually actuate the, uh, the transfer case and uh, see if the motor uh, engages or not. And you can hear it. Oftentimes you can hear it uh, from the top of the car. You could just go down and, uh, and actuate the motor, and, uh, and that's it's a pretty done deal pretty much. So I uh, would like to thank you for tuning in to our, um, our YouTube channel, uh, ADP Training. And also, uh, we encourage you, you to subscribe to our website, Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing, also autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com, www.autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. Uh, subscribe to our website as well. And uh, again, uh, thank you for tuning into our channel, ADP Training on YouTube, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.